Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the webcast. Uh, thank you very much indeed for your support. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final stanza. This is the jump event, the men's jump final of the 2011 Europe and Africa Water Ski Championships along with Ola Tomta. This is Tony Lightfoot providing the announcing and the webcasting via waterskibroadcasting.com. All right. We call the little friend that you want to watch. Det var den første. <laughs> det skulle også gå koste lidt. Er ikke det? Okay, Tony, sorry about that. Uh, we just uh, giving out some uh, t-shirts for those who uh, sing a verse of our uh, very famous uh, Baba Lille Lam. Okay, and for you webcast guys uh, watching in before we bring our first skier in, please take a look at the names that are up on the screen right now. These are the guys that have helped to make this webcast possible. We've had a, a whole team of people, a whole group of people that have absolutely worked tirelessly to make this webcast the very best that it can be. And, uh, and those, those guys should be given the huge, huge thanks and kudos for the work that they've done. All right, our next competitor, our first competitor, tell me about him, Ola. Tobias Vora from Norway is on the water. And ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are not down here now, start running. He's coming right now. Här kommer Tobias Vora. Fortare, fortare hit. Han kommer nå. Dere vet hva dere skal gjøre, ikke sant? I svingen. Oh. Det klarer vi. Kom igjen, folkens. Tobias Vora. Tobias Vora. Oi, oi, oi. Litt problemer der. Åh. Oh. Kjære Gud. Nå begynner vi. Åh! Ja! Ja! Bra! Baby! Spider-Man! Han er kaldest for Spider-Man også. Og det er ikke noe... Det var ikke langt unna. Det var vel en 58 kanskje. Hvor langt var det? Herregud. 57.8 meters! Yes, 57.8! And he can do more. We need you to help me. Oh, wild, wild, wild moments right now, Tony. Uh, with Tobias Voro, a.k.a. Spider-Man, out there. Tobias Vora, 57.8 meters opening jump, Ooh. equivalent to 190 feet. Hopefully some for chat stop my pulse, I also not about it. That is a little pilot. Så står med maten i kjeften, hva er det jeg skal si? Så må dere komme dere ned hit! Run, Forrest, run! Ok, du må gå ned her til den siden her nå, for å se Tobias Vara fra Norge. Det er Tobias Vara fra Norge som er på vannet, folkens! Han er nettopp opp på nesten 58 meter, 57,8 meter! Og i går så hoppet han i et omhopp, så hoppet han 60,1 meter. Jeg så på kuttet at det var noe som ikke stemte, så nå skal vi se hva som skal forandres i andre hoppet. Dere vet hva dere skal gjøre. Jeg vet hva dere skal gjøre. Vi skal løfte han. Vi skal løfte han til 60 meter, folkens. Hjelp meg nå. Hjelp Tobias. Hjelp Norge å komme til pallen. Vi starter nå. Nei, 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 nei. Almost losing it off the top of the jump there, Tobias Vara. But he certainly piled in a whole bunch of speed in there. The ramp work could have done with a little bit of help. But just watch the top of the jump here and oh, look at oh, that was almost like Sammy Duval back in the day and a 53.1 meter jump for Tobias Vara. Men då blir det rejstra upp och vink på Tobias och få en gång nu. Kom igen Tobias, Tobias Vara, Spiderman, do it! Come on, one more jump. One more jump. He's focused. Og hvis dere ser på andre siden, så ser dere en kar i rødt her borte. Rødt her borte. Det er vår landslagssjef, Mikke Kjellander. Tidligere verdensmester og alt det der. Og han har en lang, lang rekke med Arnsky bak seg. Han er vår landslagssjef. 
og Tobias sin coach her nå. Hva vinker Mikke? Kjære Mikke! Han er fokusert. So Ola, these uh, these Norwegian crowd members are a little quiet right now. Oh, they are so well. They're not qu quiet uh, during the jump. I can promise you that. <laughs> oh, last jump, last call. This is Tobias Mora, European Championships Finals, 2011. Watch out. And remind everyone what the Norwegian record is. It is 59.5. Hørn av folkens, 59,5 er norsk rekord. Og vi starter, og vi starter nå. Oh! Beauty of a jump, if he can land it, yes he can. Well, sorry about that, it's not 60 meters today. Uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, enough for the Norwegian record. Let's see what the splash eye says. Very... Uh, 57.1, yes. okay. it's, uh, so his best jump is a 57.8 yeah. jump that he produced uh, first of all. Okay, Tobias Mora from Norway! Tobias! Spider-Man! Certainly a great effort, he worked extremely hard to get this far. So, so, so Tobias Mora. As I recall, probably the first Norwegian skier in many, many years to make it into a European uh, European final. Correct. So uh, what, what's happening right now? Whoa! Looks like they looks like they're turning. What looks like is they're bringing him for one other jump. Ladies and gentlemen, he's coming back. Mm. I don't get it. Neither do I. Help someone. Tell Tony. I don't have a radio. Okay, so this is a rerun on the basis of his first jump. Looks like he had a fast boat time then. So, he has one more attempt. Wow! Det här är en gave som sent fra himlen, min damer og herrer. Tobias Våra i et omhopp. Og vi begynner nå. Ja! 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 Spider-Man! That was more like it. Yeah! The only Norsk record! That guy out there! Come on! Give it to me! Distance coming through any moment right now on the basis Please. of the first Dear jump. Dear God in heaven. What is the distance coming through on the first jump? To the other Spider-Man! Come on! Shut! Oh! 59.7. Der ny norsk rekord. Der ny norsk rekord. Oh. 59.7 meters there for to be as far Oh. Well, what's the, the, I have to explain something here, Tony, because uh, you remember yesterday he got this uh, rerun. Well, actually, uh, they jump in for the uh, position to get into the finals. He did 60.1. Um. But unfortunately, <laughs> because it was only a, uh, a jump off to decide placement, uh, none of the scores could be applied to a national record yeah. or, any, or anything of that kind. However, Correct. he, he does that now. And he did it now, so he proves to the world that he is now the national record holder of Norway with 59.7. And I have seen him jumping 60 meters. Min damer og får jeg en applaus til... Tobias Vora! And just to confirm once again on his original jump, it rec recorded a fast boat timing because he didn't improve upon that jump with the subsequent uh, two, uh, two attempts. They brought him in for a, uh, for a re jump. And, uh, <laughs> and as it stands right now, uh, Tobias Vora, his best jump, 59.7 meters. And as you rightly said, it's a new Norwegian record right here in the men's jump final. It is. All right, next competitor out is Daniel Partle. Daniel Partle of Austria. 
Whoa! Not a bad looking first jump. Not really pushing Not a bad looking first jump John at all. To get onto the jump, but uh, we'll have a look at this again. Fifty-seven point nine on the opening jump for Daniel Bartle. Fifty-seven point nine. Okay, uh, Tony, we have to check out these uh, regulations around uh, the national record. Actually, it could be uh, a problem. Well, we'll, uh, we'll address that in, uh, we'll address that a little bit later on. But we've got Daniel Pato out there jumping in this, in this competition, having jumped to 57.9 meters on the opening attempt. We'll, uh, we'll take him down towards the, uh, the other end of the lake and uh, continue on from there. Uh, one of uh, one of three Austrians in this uh, jumping final. So Austria started to regain their luster a little bit in the uh, in terms of uh, water ski jumping in Europe uh, by having that many uh, competitors in the jump final. So here we go. This is Daniel Partel. Let's see what he can produce right here and now. Okay, oh. that's a nice jump. Not a bad looking jump on the face of it there. Not at all. Turns in, sets and just drives on in from here. Don't forget this ramp is still at 1.65 meters high. So uh, these... Uh, these men are absolutely launching themselves off the top of the jump and unfortunately 55.3 on that second attempt there for Daniel Partle. That won't be the uh, the best jump out of three, but uh, but it still keeps his uh, confidence up. His first jump was 57.9. It is equivalent to 190 feet. So Daniel Partle has one last jump to come. Looks like all the times uh, recorded for the first two jumps are okay. So we all continue on. Yes, uh, we will. There will be actually a total of 12 jumpers, 10 more to go. And uh, where exactly do we put the uh, ramp up to 180? I think we put the jump up at 180 at around about the time the Matteo Swoboda, uh, about around about that time. But uh, we'll uh, get confirmation of that in just a moment. Here we go. This is Daniel Partle. Right, here he comes. Who actually completed uh, competed last year for, uh, for Team Austria in the Junior World Championship. So he's actually one of our youngest skiers coming into this event. Here he comes. Up, over, yes. and gets a superb amount of pull off the top of the jump. That is some very, very technically uh, sound jump in there from Daniel yes, Partle. Absolutely. Beautiful technique, good setup, and uh, landing that safe in about 57.8, yes, 57.6 meters. 57.6 meters, 57.6. He is in a second place right now. Tobias Farah is still in the lead. So heading towards the dock, Daniel Partle. Job well done for him. Made it through to his first European men's jump final, and... Uh, a nice, uh, nice smile and nice wave to our uh, crowd uh, here. So, uh, looks like we are going to put the ramp up uh, very, very soon. So, it looks like we're going to bring in our homologator to. Uh, to go out towards the uh, the ramp uh, very very soon, but uh, before then, we should have our next competitor, who would be uh, Mateus Swoboda. So a great great crowd of people here at uh, at Say Up, uh, kind of braving a little bit of the cold weather out here. It's uh, it's a little bit chilly for those uh, those people who, who aren't used to it. So 
So for those of you curious about the weather right now, there are your temperatures, 19 degrees C. Wind still coming out from the south-southwest, which means absolutely perfect uh, uh, jumping conditions, that nice, nice headwind. As we'll now bring in our uh, next competitor, Matteo Suaveda. Rappel on les Good shit. Here comes Matteo Suaveda now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, watch out another 60 meter jumper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not with that jump, he isn't. Not with that jump, he isn't. A lot of speed, though. The speed was certainly there, but the timing wasn't, and neither was his ramp work. But uh, we'll uh, have a look at the distance just as a, uh, a reference guide here as to what he could potentially uh, jump later on 42.2, 42.2 meters as uh, we'll bring in uh, Matteo Suaveda for his uh, second of uh, three attempts. So, so we'll see what he can do on his second of three attempts. Around the turning island he goes. Jump distance is right now that we've recorded. We've still got that lead distance courtesy of uh, Tobias Vora. Yeah, Who right. At least uh, guaranteed 11th place right now. Fifty-nine point seven still in the lead. Tobias Vora from uh, Norway. But still building up a lot of speed here and uh, a lot of good jumpers to come. Watch out. Okay, another oh, crash. Oh, and later crash. with that one too. Just Wha not getting it together with the opening two jumps. And uh, this could spell trouble for Matea Suaveda right here and now. It looks to me that uh, this uh, young man has... Uh, shorter skis than uh, the other competitors. I, I don't know. It looks that way only. Well, that may seem to be the case, but his uh, second jump, 48 meters. Uh, 48 meters on that to second attempt. No skis do appear to be long enough, but uh, we'll see if uh, they're long enough to take him uh, long enough off the jump so to speak on his third and last attempt to make it through to this next to this round of the competition he jumped uh 57.3 meters so he's uh, definitely capable the question is is he capable of doing it now here comes uh mateus uh, swoboda Here he comes. And this is his third attempt. He's late. Okay. That's he, better. Whoa, 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 That's whoa, better. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a good jump. Suffice to say, that's his best one out of the three. It is, it is. But it's uh, it's close to uh, Tobias, but I think still Tobias is in the lead. Well, we'll soon see with the splash eye that... Yep. Uh, Confirms this distance coming right up. 58.5. 58.5. Oh, he's happy, of course, with that jump. The energy club against 50 of the comma meter. Fantastic scoping. So 58.5 meters. Currently putting him in second place right now, just above his teammate, uh, Daniel Pardal. But still in the lead and guaranteed at least a 10th place position is Tobias Savara. That is correct. In the European Championships 2011. To be correct, Europe and African Championships 2011. So, 
Mateus Swoboda. We're not putting that ramp up to 180 yet. Well, maybe you are. Looks like uh, looks like that's gonna. Well, not yet. I can see the uh, homologator. Well, we still got uh, him and Beliaku to a jump, and remember, he jumped off by 1.65 meters okay. high. Got it. And I think everyone from uh, from him and Beliaku onwards is going to be jumping at 1.8 meters high. Okay. Ja, mine damer og herrer, det er slik at uh, ledende fra i går, Thomas Asher fra Great Britain, har hoppet uh, 62,1 meter, og det har også uh, Claudio Kostenberg gjort. Uh, det er uh, faktisk da 2,5 eller 2,4 meter bak eller foran uh, Tobias. Og får vi se, altså Tobias har gjort det utrolig bra i dag, det har han gjort. Vi får se. Ok, we have the next gear on the water. Emin Beliaku. Yes. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, What that's a, a good first. Bad jump there from Emin. Nice style. Certainly, and uh, kind of surprising me with a little bit with his uh, jumping ability. We know him and Beliaku has been uh, being a fantastic trick skier. 57.8 meters, 57.8 meters for him and Beliaku on his opening jump. So 57.8 as he gets ready to complete his uh, second and third attempts. So now, Emin Baliaku with a respectable distance on the board, 57.8 meters. At this time, would have put him as high as fourth right now, just behind uh, Daniel Partle. Ja, följ med folkens mye action igjen her på, på siden opp. Ooh. <laughs> what a bad jump again there Beautiful from, uh, jumping from We'll have a look at this one more time His opening jump was around 194 56.2 the, uh, the second jump 56 to 184 feet For him and Baliaku Just backing off a little bit But he does have one jump remaining though Art. So one more attempt for Hammon Baliaku. Let's see if he's uh, frisky enough to put something a little bit more substantive out there. Hammon Baliaku with 58 meters uh, from the round of previous to this. Yes, we'll see uh, how that goes uh, when he... Uh does his uh, next attempt and remember him from the uh, first round with 58 meters uh, exactly yeah yes indeed and after uh, Emin Baliaku we've only got a, a few more jumpers to come we've gotten eight more jumpers in total okay breaking up hard on that uh, around that 180 actually and this is going to be uh, a, a very, very late jump. Let's Here see what... Here he comes. Oi, 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 oi. Gets... Oh, oh nice, nice flight. Good looking jump there towards the end of that flight there for him and Beliaku. 
Very uh, good technically uh, jumper, this uh, Herman Bayaku. Looks very safe in his jumping, although he's cutting pretty late. But uh, 57.1 meters, so he's not going to exceed his uh, first jump distance. And there we go with uh, with Herman Baliaku. Let's give him a big cheer, folks. Herman Baliaku. Okay, thank you. And he's the last of our 1.65 meter ramp height uh, jumpers, and. Uh, at least one distinction that uh, Tobias Vara can uh, can take away from this event. Out of the jumpers in the final with that ramp height, he is the best of them. Okay, uh, Tony, I need uh, a couple of minutes. We're going to give out some t-shirts. Uh, and uh, the way, if you can just pull the music way back down, all the way down. We'll, we'll get some of the audience to sing a song. Let's see... Uh, could you uh, stop the music, please? Okay. I'll try. Are there are there no privilege who can sing? Yeah, you can do it on the So can you find that shorta? Are there no privilege to sing? Yeah, you can do it on the end. Yeah, come it. We come it. We have so good technique. So hard, yeah. Oi, 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 oi. Yes, so do. Hi. Why are you? Hero. Hur då? Hur gammal är du då? 10. Är det kul på EM? Mm. Är det kul på EM? Ja. <laughs> Så kul. Har du stått vanskje eller? Har du aldrig stått, aldri stått vanskje? Har du tänkt att begynne? Vet inte. Jo. Är så bara det. Ok. Då ska du få låta att synge. Jag gick in och du kan hålla mikrofonen helt in till här. Vär så. Jag gick en tur på sten och sökte skogens ro. Da hørte jeg fra Lia en jøk som sa koko, 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 koko.
nine meters for uh, for Martin Bartowski on that opening jump. As we'll now uh, bring it in for his uh, remaining two jumps. Ramp set out to one meter eighty now. Six foot high for those of you who work with feet and inches, especially the ever growing audience that we get from the United States of America. Which is why we, uh, which is why with the splash eye integration with the uh, live text graphics on the webcast, I'm also able to give you the distances in feet as well as uh, the metric distance which you uh, will see just above it all right so now here he comes second attempt martin bartowski Good strike in towards the jump. Oh, a nice oh. looking jump from uh, from Martin Bartowski. A lot of speed in there, and the control was uh, was a little bit better too. Was Beautiful to... uh, float on that jump. Certainly was, and the distance should be coming to us courtesy of Splash Eye in just a moment or so. 56.7, that's a, an improvement for 186 feet. That is Slovakia's Martin Bartowski. So now he's got one jump remaining. Absolutely, one jump remaining. And uh, we are ahead in this uh, jump finals, Europe and Africa. So one last jump. At this moment, uh, Tobias Vara still in the lead with a 59.7 meter jump. So now, here comes Martin Bartowski, third and last attempt. Does he have anything left? Oh, that's a better looking jump. He got more pull off the top of the ramp on that particular attempt. He certainly got the speed and he certainly got the position. The question is, does he have the distance to match? The distance, 58.4, 58.4 meters. Fifty-eight point four meters for Martin Bartowski. Give him a big cheer, ladies and gentlemen, as he heads back to the dock. Best jump, fifty-eight point four. So now, back of the boat dock in uh, in the foreground and uh, looking up towards the. Uh, the starting dock in the background. Next competitor to take to the water. From Great Britain, his name is Damien Sharman. Still a few competitors to go after Damien Sharman. We have uh, six more to go after Damien, so a lot of action uh, could be uh, could be coming our way as Damien Sharman uh, just secures his feet into those uh, extremely tight bindings so tight that it cuts off the circulation uh, just a few minutes after putting them on but whatever it takes for our jumpers to uh, to know and trust that they have control over their equipment Whatever it takes. Damien Sharman, former European jump champion from 2009.
You're absolutely right, and uh, this could be very, very, very exciting towards the end. Uh, well, we're looking at the results from yesterday, 62.1, and uh, the conditions are super. Yes, well, indeed, and uh, Damien Sharman has certainly been a very, very consistent jumper in terms of a jumping in the European Championships, has actually been on the podium in the last three European Championships, 08, 09, and last year. Let's see what he can do right here and now. Följ med folkens, här är det en som absolut är kandidat till pallen. Och här är han i gång, Charmin från Great Britain. Here he comes, opening jump. Oh, 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 and he oh, oh. on that one. Wow, look at that speed, huh? The speed was good. The yeah, timing, he's, not so much. He's sliding almost to 100 meters, so uh, it must be a good speed on that. Yes, indeed, and uh, Damien Charmin no doubt has uh, fans across the world uh, watching watching how he's doing especially his coach in uh, just outside baton rouge in louisiana the the home of bennett's Worski school in zachary i'm sure that uh, his coach uh, jay bennett is uh, watching on and uh, seeing uh, what uh, damien can produce with the remaining two jumps damien sharman who missed, uh, who missed one or two tournaments at the start of the season due to visa issues, uh, necessitating his, uh, his stay in the United States. And, uh, but he has uh, recently uh, gotten his, uh, his green card to, to become a uh, permanent legal resident in the United States and thus enabling him to train and travel uh, across the US uh, more freely and compete in more events across the world. So. We'll see what Damien Sharman has got in store for us for his remaining two jumps. His best jump, personal best, is in the 68 meter range. So let's have a look for Damien Sharman out wide of that Nautic 200, and we'll see what he's got. Fermi against Damien Sharman of Great Britain in his uh, second attempt. Wow. Here he comes. Wow. Wow! So he lays it up! Oh, yeah, buddy! Good oh. jump there for Damien Sharman. We'll that is close to 60. Again. Close to 60 or more. It's got to be over 60. Yeah. This, bro. This, this, this jump is, is in excess of 60 meters. The question is how. Yes, it's 61.3. All right. In the lead, Great Britain. 61.3. Very good. En applaus for Gunz Mikkelop og selvfølgelig for å hoppe over 60 meter. Kjære venne. 61.3 meters, but uh, that's by no means the longest jump ever uh, jumped here. Uh, Claudio Kostenberger has the, uh, has the current course record with a 63.4 meter jump, which he set two years ago. That's correct. And the best jump that we've seen here this weekend thus far is a 62.1, which is currently held... Uh, by our retired leaders going into this event, Tom Asher and Claudio Kostenberger. You're absolutely right. So, let's see what he can do to assert himself into the mix so far as the title chase goes in this European Jump Championship. Europe and Africa Jump Championship, I do beg your pardon. Here we go. Damien Sharman, one last attempt. What can he do? Here he comes. Good speed, good dig, and... Wow! Nice jump Woo! there, but... Kind of missing something there, and expression, e expressing a little bit of frustration with that jump. We'll find out what the distance is in a moment. 61.5, 61.5, his best jump out of the three, it is 202, 202 feet, but uh, for Damien well, Sherman, and I'm lost to Damien Sherman, Great Britain, our new leader with 61.5 Thank meters, you. will it be enough, Damien Sherman, Little shrug of the shoulders there as he uh, as he uh, skied past the uh, 
group of people that uh, was congregated underneath the jury tower watching this event uh, from an exceptional vantage point here at Sea Up. As we now get ready for our uh, next competitor representing the Czech Republic, it will be Adam Saddlemeyer, the new European men's slalom champion. So now, next skier, Adam Saddlemeyer. Okay, remember that, uh, that slalom skiing earlier on today with Adam Saddlemeyer. How can we forget? How can we forget the European champion? So, uh, so let's see what happens when he's going to jump. His personal best, 65 meters. How did he do uh, on the uh, trick uh, event? Actually placed a pretty high in the tricks event. Although I'll get I'll get that uh, result uh, for you just to confirm it. But yeah, I'm thinking about the actually, overall. It could be a good overall. Uh, could be a good overall score, but he yeah. had tricked 8440. So really had kind of has his uh, a potential of a good overall score kind of busted so far as the. Uh, the record is concerned, whether it be in Europe or worldwide. But here we go. This is Adam Saddlemeyer. Okay. Oh! Very high on that jump. Not a bad opening attempt there for uh, for Adam Saddlemeyer as uh, we uh, watch this again and wait for the distance to come through via our splash height system. I'm sure that Donald is, uh, Donald Conley is uh, watching. From, uh, from his base in Ireland right now. And uh, thank you very, very much for his assistance over the last day or so in uh, integrating the, uh, the Splash Eye system with the, uh, with the graphics for the webcast. And we'll get the distance in. Uh, yeah, we got the distance on the first jump. I do beg your pardon. This 57.4, 57.4 meters for Adam Saddlemeyer. Yes, indeed, the 57.4 is absolutely capable of going much further than that. And let's see what happens in the next jumps. So still got, still got quite a bit left in him. He is the current world overall champion. And, uh, and I would say that he is uh, probably the European overall champion of this year as well. So... Adam Saddlemeyer. Check out his website, www.adamsaddlemeyer.com. Yes, he indeed. Says. Here comes Adam Saddlemeyer. What a great water skier. Boom! Up over oh, and up, 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 still up, up, up. a little bit, a uh, little bit back coming yeah. off, the, off the ramp there. Adam mm. Saddlemeyer. Just really not getting the full extension that he uh, that he needs to uh, to carry that speed through. Equivalent jump, 57.4, 57.4. Okay, so uh, Adam Saddlemeyer is uh, <laughs> he's doing uh, very good in this Europeans. Uh, Around this uh, overall competition, he's uh, way up there on the score. And uh, maybe this is the winner of the overall. Well, I can't tell you until I see the list, though. So far as the overall is concerned, he pretty much has a stranglehold upon it. Uh, there are no other competitors that can challenge him uh, for, the, uh, for the overall as it stands right now going into, uh, into this uh, last event. You're absolutely right. This is the overall champion. Pretty much. All right, then. Here we go. Adam Saddlemeyer around that turn island. Two jumps each with a distance of a 57.4. What can he do with the uh, with the remaining jump? Oh, he goes around that 180 mark. He's certainly bringing it down a little bit later. So let's have a look at Adam Saddlemeyer. 
One last attempt. Okay, boom! Oh, nice jump! Better, that's a better jump there from uh, from Adam Saddlemyer. But will he hit the 60-meter uh, mark? I don't think so. Well, he'll certainly get closer to it than the 57.4-meter jumps that he had earlier. And it's a 58.4, so improving exactly by one meter. A one meter improvement. That probably won't make an impression upon the in the top a few skiers right now, but that actually... Okay, this is the overall champion right there on the water, unofficially right now, of course. Anything can happen with the last skiers, but it will be a tough job to take those points away from him. Yes, indeed, and uh, that jump of 58.4 meters ties the distance of uh, Martin Bartowski. So right now, Adam Saddlemyer is currently in tied fourth place in the jump event, and the uh, the top three as they uh, as they stand right now with uh, with five jumpers to go shows Damien Sharman in the lead with a 61.5. Significantly for you guys out there, Tobias Vora is in second place right now with 59.7 and Mateus Swoboda with 58.5 meters currently in third. So uh, at the worst, uh, Tobias Mora could be actually number seven in this European Championships, 18 years old. Wow, very good. Yes, indeed, uh, certainly improving, improving his position all the time and uh, so Damien Sharman's still in the lead. We've got uh, five competitors to go. The first of them to take to the water will be from Germany, Bojan Schiffner. Okay, Bojan Schiffner. Let's see what I have on him. If I have his... Uh, yes, we do. Well... His personal best, ladies and gentlemen, 67 meters. Oh, and personal near record for 67 meters. The hard, these these loopers that come to land now, they are uh, high professional uh, skiers, for to say so. They are skiers, vanshi, hele tiden. Woo! So now, Bojan Shipna. Let's see what he can do on this uh, first attempt. It's very likely that he will go for that 60 meter mark already on the first jump. Well, cutting pretty early on that first one. And flatten the skis. Here comes Bojan. Oh, oh nice opening jump yes. there from Bojan Shipner. That's taking a rough... in a bucket load of speed coming in towards the, uh, the jump there. Fifty nine point seven on what looked to be a really, really easy first jump there for him. Fifty nine point seven, that's a tie with Tobias. Yes indeed. So uh, he's at least put himself in a tie for second place right now. But he has two jumps remaining and that's the advantage that he has. Of course. And so. uh, he has a better score from yesterday, so he will be in front of uh, him at the end. Okay, so continuing on with uh, with Bojan Shipner. 59.7. The, the, uh, the European under-21 jump champion from last year jumped over 67 meters to, uh, to get that title. Let's see if he could produce something along the same lines here. That'll be so nice. Remember that 63.4, uh, is it? Course record. Boom. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, look at that. That's a good jump. Blazing a trail in towards that jump. A good amount of speed. Wasn't quite sure he was at. Well, 62.2 meters. He's your new leader now. Beautiful. 62.2. Wow. 
fantastic jump there. That is the uh, European Championships, the longest jump so far, actually by 20 centimeters. Okay, let's give it up for Bojan Shipner. Yes, indeed, 62-2. We would like to have a new course record, of course, here at SIAP. We have been tricky with a new course record. It's about 63,4 meters. 63,4 meters is the course record here at SIAP. It was set under U21 EM for two years ago here at SIAP. What happens next to SIAP? It's soon ice on the ice and snow. Yes, it's very cold here at SIAP. But it's very cold here at SIAP. Men uh, vi, uh, vi er ikke fremmede for tanken om VM i 2017. Så Tove Gullbrandsen, det er bare å begynne å gjøre. Her kommer Bojan. Han er allerede i lead. Men hva kan han gjøre med denne siste jump? Wow! Oh, look at that from Bojan. Han ran about the same kind of timing again, but just getting a little bit uh, out of sorts as he uh, came into the jump. So 62.2 is probably in uh, going to uh, give him the uh, the best distance out of the three. Yes, indeed it does. Good speed. Point four. So Bojan Shipner now returns to the dock. He is the new leader with 62.2 meters. Four jumpers to come. Let's give it up for Bojan as he tries to spray most of the French team on his way back to the dock. <laughs> Okay, this could might as well be the uh, European champion in jump uh, right now, Tony. Could well be, could yeah. well be, and uh, we're uh, pretty soon we're going to start uh, uh, placing people into medal positions. But uh, before that, we'll need to bring in on our next competitor, our fourth skier from last on. His name, Stephen Critchley from Great Britain. So, Steve Critchley, who himself, alongside Damien Sharman, trains over at uh, the Bennett's War Ski School in Zachary, Louisiana. Well, Stephen Critchley uh, has also uh, told us that uh, something people don't know about him is that he, he picks his nose a lot. <laughs> hmm. That's what he says. I think he was saying that in jest more than anything else, because I don't think anyone would really admit to that. Exactly. Uh -huh. All well, right, then. what he will do to change the world is actually to uh, left the criminals in the UK and gone to Australia. Pretty smart. <laughs> no, the opposite way around, I take it. All right, then. Here we go. Here comes Steve Critchley. Personal best, 66.6. .6. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. Great Britain, once again. Boom! Oh, nice, oh, nice, nice jump. jump. Very good form off the top of the ramp. Steve Critchley. It's not 60, though. It's not 60, but he'll be uh, pretty close. We'll find out in a moment. 58.6, 58.6 there for Steve Critchley. Opening jump. So now looking for just a little bit more, uh, a little bit of uh, what uh, what the Cajuns in Louisiana called lanyap, which is just that little bit extra. And uh, Steve Critchley, a former member of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette's uh, Raging Cajuns, so he'll know that expression a lot. Also, uh, among the many expressions in Cajun French is laissez le bon temps rouler, letting the good times roll. All right. Let's have a look. Here it comes Steve Here it comes Critchley. back. Yep. 
58.6 in that opening round. Let's see what he can do on his uh, second and third uh, attempt. Okay, now is Tobias Vara on the branch medal. Here he comes. Second attempt. Wow! Whoa! Oh, a lot of speed coming into the jump. Really, really barreling in with uh, nope. with that attempt. I'm not too sure whether that's going to be over 60 meters. Just looks as if he's uh, losing quite a bit of his height. But wow, it's a 61.7 meter jump. 61.7 meters there for uh, for Steve Critchley. All right, 61.7 puts him right up in the second spot right now. Yes, indeed, 61.7 uh, leapfrogs over Damien Sharman at this time. So that's the distance, 61.7. Now, getting ready for his third and last jump. Does he have something left? with the remaining jump. Don't forget, he's got Vladimir Rianzin to come after him, then Tom Asher, and then Claudio Kostenberger. Here comes Steve Critchley. Okay, coming back here now on this... Uh Third attempt, having 61.7 in the second. Oh, he this is a oh, late one. Oh, oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Fist pump. Oh, now. my God. Wow. That is a tremendous jump there from Steve Holy. Critchley. He put everything on the line with that Course one. record. Course record. Whoa, 66, 66 Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> 66 hey, meters. He is jumping for joy right now. 66 meters. Oh. And he has fans across the world in the United Kingdom. I'm sure they'll be jumping up and down right now in Zachary, Louisiana. There's more than uh, one individual there that's probably doing the wow. same right now. Wow, wow, wow. Six, six, one, six. Wow. Uh, that's 60 centimeters away from his personal best, and he's doing it right here at SEAP, almost uh, in winter time. It's uh, crazy. <laughs> uh, wow. That is the new course record. Uh, yes, definitely. And that's a simple one to remember. Six, six. Wow. 66 meters. Oh, my name is 66 meters. It's also so long. I'll try it as well. Det tar faktisk for mig 12 sekunder å løpe den distansen. Så det er langt. It's a good thing he didn't jump for 66.6 meters. Otherwise, there would have been a certain amount of notoriety with that distance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Here we go. Next skier up from the Russian Federation. It is going to be Vladimir Ryanzin. That is correct. Now uh, we have to remind the audience that uh, you can find you can find the whole European Championships uh, and have a look at it again this afternoon. Uh, well, this evening, isn't that right? Uh, yes, indeed. Yes. Every single one of on YouTube. Our, uh, YouTube. Every single one of our uh, video archives is available on YouTube right now. Here we go. This is uh, Vladimir Ryanzin. Here he comes. First jump. Vladimir. What has he got? Okay. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Opening jump. Wow. Good distance a... there from uh, from Vladimir Ryanzin. Very, very tidy. Technically efficient off the turn. 60 meters exactly. 197. 60 meters exactly. 197 feet. So... That is the opening jump over 60 meters. Vladimir Ian's in. Now let's see if he's got another six meters more. Well, his personal best 64.2. Uh, so uh, what is he saying here? Something people don't know about him that uh, 
That is a real good skier. Why? Good. One thing he would change in the world, he needs longer summers. Oh, well, I can join you there. Uh, well, for much of the summer this year, because of visa issues, he basically had to stay in Russia for quite a few uh, for quite a few weeks and couldn't go to many of the tournaments that were based in Europe. So, yeah, uh, that's right. H had some trouble with that. He also wants to tell the uh, audience that uh, keep on water skiing, if in, even if it's difficult. And that's, that's a good one. Here we go. Vladimir Yanzin of the Russian Federation coming in. Very nice style on this man. Certainly. I, I like that style. Boom. Ah, oh. nice jump in there from Vladimir. and uh, Actually, he did not get over his skis on that too much. Not too much, no. And uh, Vladimir, who... Uh, who trains at uh, Franz's uh, ski school in, uh, in Central Florida. Not getting everything out of that jump, but uh, 59.2 meters, 59.2 for uh, Vladimir Yanzin. I'm sure he is, uh, his coach in Central Florida is, uh, is watching in his uh, base in Austria right now, Mr. Franz Oberleitner, if you're uh, watching this. Thanks a lot indeed, and I'm sure that you're uh, not only keeping an eye on uh, Vladimir Rianzin, but also uh, maybe one or two other competitors, in particular Claudio Kostenberger. Okay, uh, good, good, good. Uh, one more jump from uh, Vladimir coming up, and then we have uh, Thomas Asher and Claudio Kostenberger left on the uh, starting dock. Both of whom uh, tied with the lead out of the elimination round with 62.1 meters. You're right. But Vladimir Janssen, let's not forget about him. Let's go to the next one. 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 But first, we'll see this one. Here comes Vladimir. Yeah, watch this guy. Very nice style. Easy turn going on that oh, high speed. Boom! Oh, oh yeah! Right. Wow! He himself. <laughs> Beautiful! That has got to be one of his best jumps ever. So beautiful. I hope we have millions of pictures of that uh, jump. I know you have the film. Distance coming through any moment now for Vladimir Rianzin. Wonderful flight. Is it enough? Is no. it enough for the lead? No. Still waiting on that distance to come through. Come on. This is kind of making come me on. a little bit nervous here. 63.4 meters. 63.4 meters. He's happy with He's that, delighted. of course. He's delighted. I'm not too sure, but that might actually be a Russian record. No, 63. it's not. 63.4. His personal best is 64.2. Okay, well, not far behind it then. But great jump in there from Vladimir Rianzin. So with two competitors left to go, it's safe to say that Steve Quitchley has put himself on the podium with 66 meters. Okay, a reminder that after the jump event, we will have the uh, prize presentation ceremony for our remaining events that we have to uh, give medals out for. The slalom and jump, women's and men's. Tom Asher, next competitor out. So, so the top jumper right now with 66 meters is Stephen Critchley. Right now, we have Bojan Shipner in second place with 62.2. Damien Sharman in, uh, actually in second place uh, with uh, 63.4 is Vladimir Rianzin and uh, Bojan Shipner being relegated to third place, I beg your pardon. But here we go. This is Tom Asher. Let's see what he's got right here and now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Great Britain once more. Oh, oh nice. Oh. Jump there from Tom Asher. Wow. We'll take a look at this uh, once again. Nice slow turn uh, from, from Tom. Has been skiing injured uh, pretty much uh, all season, at least uh, for the amount of times that he has been able to get on the water in 62 2. 62.2 meters he opens up with and that's exactly the same distance as Boyan Schiffner so already into a tied third place right now we have Boyan Schiffner Tom Asher he's got two jumps remaining though 62.2 meters uh, his opening jump We've got one competitor to go uh, after Tom Asher, and that is Claudio Kostenberger. So now, here comes Tom. Very, very methodical technique out there from Tom Asher and uh, turns in, sets, digs in hard and nice Whoa! jump there. Beautiful pull off the top of the ramp. No excuse yet for him to be pumping the iron fist uh, as yet, but he's certainly given himself plenty of opportunity to. Uh, to get himself there while well, 61 6 61.6 meters uh, with that jump 62 2 is his uh is his jump on the opening attempt and uh we'll bring tom asher in for one final jump let's see if he can pull the similar kind of heroics that we saw from steve critchley on his last jump Comes down to the very last jump now for Tom Asher. We know that Steve Critchley on the podium, absolute certain there. The question is, what color medal will he receive? So. Here comes Tom Asher. This is his last and third attempt. This stop for Thomas Asher. And he is also the next sister of Bert. Full man. Rolly, Rolly, Kurt. Oh, very late. Oh! Oh, nice, nice. job there from Tom. The question is will it have some distance underneath it? 62.2 on the opening jump for 204 feet. The last jump distance will be uh, revealing itself right about now for Tom Asher as he skis past. 62.5, 62.5 for Tom Asher. Beautiful jumping. Thank you, Tom Asher. 62.5 meters, that puts him in third place right now with one competitor to go. Det er helt riktig. En løper igjen. Og det betyr folkens ikke stikk når det ikke går. Tobias har lov å hoppe en gang til. Hva da? <laughs> Men uh, det er noe som skjer, skjønner dere, etter at det her uh, er gjennomført. For, uh, for det hadde vært rolig hyggelig om dere kunne ha blitt med oss på medaljefordelingen der oppe på flaggstanga så vær så snill, en, en bønn til dere nå for å lage sånn god sportsånd og masse mennesker rundt disse som får medaljer rett etter hoppinga så bare går vi bort på flaggstengene så tar vi medaljene med en gang tusen takk, dere er snille odørninger vet ok, det som skjer er jo at vi har en løper igjen Claudio Kostenberger, og han er... Eh, og så skal jeg ta resten av Lodda, selvfølgelig. Men det tar jeg da ikke før etter medaljeseremonien. Det var lurt. Ok, var så nå... So vi vet at Steve Critchley vil finish no worse than second. Vi også vet at Vladimir Rianzin har satt seg på podium og vil finish no worse than third. 
The question is, will those two stay in those positions? Because our next competitor, our last competitor in these championships, representing Austria, it will be Claudio Kostenberger. Here comes Claudio. Okay, it's all down to this uh, last jumper in this finals here in Norway. Europe and African Championships 2011. Mr. Kostenberger, here he comes. Easy turn on that. Boom! It's it! Flies long! Oh! oh, oh. Certainly not a bad opening jump there from Claudio Kostenberger. Not too sure where it's going to be anywhere close to 66 meters. I know it's going to be over 60. But we'll, uh, we'll soon, yes, yeah, 61.1 meters, which currently puts him in about sixth place right now with two jumps remaining. Imagine that, sixth place on that distance, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, it's really, huh. Wow, the, uh, the standard of a jump in in, uh, in recent years in Europe has really, really improved by leaps and bounds, if you pardon the pun. Claudio oh. Kostenberger with a 61.1 meter jump, and he needs, he needs another, I would say at least you another five meters on top of that, really. I mean, but looks like we've got a message saying that on that, that opening jump that produced a slow boat time. So uh, we'll get some... Uh, We'll get some more details on that as we get prepared to bring in Claudio Kostenberger for the uh, for the remaining jumps. So it's a rerun? No, not a rerun just yet, but uh, Claudio Kostenberger, this is his second jump. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's right. He can go further on that. Here he comes, late! Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 oh dear oh, God oh, in heaven! Oh, 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 oh! I saw Vebjorn had swimmed over already. Oh! That clip is going on YouTube. That clip is going on everywhere. <laughs> 53 meters or 174. Oh, look at this! How oh, wow, on wow, earth wow, 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 did he bring back? That jump ski, it was tilted at least 15 degrees in a downward and a blast, direction. And a blast. Woo yes, scary. Thank you for reminding me. Oh. All right. All right, it comes down to one last jump. He's not sparing a single thing out there. So, a potential rerun is still in play, however, based upon 61.1 meters being on a, a slow boat time. But if he outjumps it, we'll see. Okay. Claudio Kostenberger, potentially on the edge of glory here with this jump coming up right now. And he bulks out on that one. Just couldn't get anything going with that particular distance. But stay, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because one more jump. I beklag i virkelig. Jeg kan ikke styre været, men jeg har et tak. Men det er blevet så mange nu her. Jeg kommer igen. Det er bare at trække under tak her. Okay, so from what I understand, it looks like we have got a mandatory rewrite on the opening jump. He has no protected score. No protected score. So, and even if it was protected, I don't think he'd want to be too pleased about it because it's a 61.1 meter jump and would not put him on the podium. So, the European jump title comes down to one last 
jump. One it's last between jump. between Claudio and Steven right now. Oof. One last jump. Ett hopp till, folkens. Han slutter det ennå. Kan han stoppe? Ikke stikk nå. <laughs> Bli her. <laughs> Husk hva som skjedde i går med Tobias når vi ble litt lenger, eh? Det var bonus på den. Men eh, jeg kan jo fortelle dere at han har en personlig rekord på 66,9. Og, 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 oi. Og Steven Critchley som leder nå, hadde en, som var på 66 meter, hadde en personlig rekord på 66,6. Så ja, det er fullt mulig. So, at det ikke er avgjort. How much drama can you have approaching this last jump? Oh, crazy, huh? Yes, indeed. Wow. To get actually up on the podium, he needs to go more than 62.5 right now. That is correct. He needs to uh, outjump Tom Asher at this point. Et opp igjen. Europamesterskap på Sia på Skarnes er snart over. Og det her er siste mann. Som skal prøve seg. Here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Boom! Yes, it's good! Oh, not a bad looking jump there. From Claudio Kostenberger as we all take a look at this uh, replay shot. Ok, da er det bare å minne folk om at det er medaljeseremoni. Jeg håper at uh, noen har litt regntøy med seg. Uh, for de som ikke har det, så skjønner jeg hvorfor. 60.9. So 60.9 meters on that last jump, and uh, Claudio Kostenberger going into shore, which means Woo! that your European jump champion with 66 meters is Steve Critchley. Congratulations, Great Britain. Congratulations, Silver. Uh, and Russia. Also, and it also means that with the top three as they stand right now. Tom Asher in third place with 62.5. Vladimir Rianzin with 63.4. And your gold medalist, Stephen Critchley, with 66 meters. Two skiers from Great Britain are on the podium in the very last event. Very good. Very good. Vi har fått ny banerekord, 66 meter. Vi har en nordmann på syvende plass. Det er jo fantastisk. Det er helt vilt. Så er jeg syvende. Ja, det blir syvende. Vi har fått imager fra båten Claudio Kostenberger på båten der, og Bojan Schipner, og en bunch av andre kompetitere som kommiserer ham, eller kanskje bare gjør fun av ham, som er typisk i det case. Men Claudio Kostenberger hadde sjansen til å ta den titelen, didn't quite work out for him uh, this time around. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That concludes the uh, the on-water action here at the Europe and Africa Water Ski Championships. And this has been broadcast exclusively by the Water Ski Broadcasting Company. This has been the 2011 Europe and Africa Water Ski Championships. Thanks a lot to you webcast audience uh, for tuning in from wherever you happen to be in the world. Uh, we have over 40 countries tuning in to the webcast for this event and uh, we had okay. uh, some uh, some great great water skiing action yes we did and tony i i really need to uh break through here we have to do the uh, lotteries because uh, people are leaving so sorry about that yes uh, indeed okay vi tar loddtrekningene og fortsetter østen 13 lodd nummer østen 13 har vunnet en elektrisk grill romeo 59 romeo 59 har vunnet en kosedress Whisky 62 har vunnet en buff. Golf 49 har vunnet en uh, buff uten flis. Uh, Kilo 23, badminton set. Uh, hvit G 55, hodelykt. Uh, G1, altså Golf 1, har vunnet en caps. Kilo 35 har vunnet strikkesokker. Romeo 43, ryggsekk. Whisky 14, bilde. Whisky 91, hodelykt. Okay. Øst, Østen 18, drikkeflaske. Three more, Tony. Golf 53, t-skjorte. Kilo 50, skopose. Og Golf 26, 
Frukt kurv hentes i kiosken där uppe. Okej, okay, Tony, take it away. Okej, okay, just permit me just a couple more minutes to say goodbye to our webcast audience. You've been an absolute uh, uh, great audience out there. But this webcast could not have been made possible without the efforts of uh, these, these people here uh, that you see listed. We had an absolutely great crew here in Norway uh, helping to put the, uh, the webcast together. And I uh, thank each and every one of the, those people for driving around transmitters and cameras and just making sure that the infrastructure was in place uh, to pull off uh, what has been an absolutely superb event. And the, the webcast worked out uh, pretty decently, too, if I do say so myself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, this has been the official live and exclusive webcast of the 2011 uh, Europe and Africa Water Ski Championships in two weeks. We will have the World Under 21 Water Ski Championships from Muzak France. Coverage coming to you live starting on Wednesday, August the 31st and continuing through to Sunday, September the 4th. For Ola Tomta, this is Tony Lightfoot wishing you safe travels wherever you happen to be. And I will uh, be uh, seeing you in a, maybe a couple of weeks with the World Under 21 Championships. So from Say Up in Skarnes, it is good afternoon.